I've been a doctor for 39 years, and it's finally clear to me that medicine gets basic fundamentals wrong. Your body is not a machine. People are so used to working with machines, working with AIs, that they start to think that they're machines. Trust me, you don't want to be a machine. Machines break down. Humans build up. Most of your heart gets replaced within three days. That's because we're alive. We are living, breathing bioinformation. Biology is living information. Our great advantage is biological intelligence, how your body uses and creates knowledge. It's not just our brains that are intelligent, our whole bodies are smart. Treat your body as intelligent and the whole body gets smarter. Health is learned. Your body gets smarter just from the idea that it's smart, that we learn every second of our life. The environment changes, we change, and we learn. Biological intelligence is so powerful because it's been built on chance. Four billion years of chance. And evolution is a great teacher. We have survived volcanoes, earthquakes, plagues, pestilence, and war. We are built to survive everything, including things we've never seen and never will. We're also aided by being a giant ecosystem. There are about 10 trillion human cells, but inside your gut alone are 40 trillion bacterial cells, and all over your body are endless numbers of viruses. Biological intelligence takes all of that and all the intelligence systems inside your body and gets them to work together. It integrates them so well, you're not even conscious of what it does. You don't see your immune system knock off tumor cells every day. You don't see your heart grow as you walk up the stairs. Let me show you how biological intelligence works with a patient of mine. She was depressed, had horrible dreams that were in part due to sleep apnea, worried a lot about her weight, which had provoked diabetes, and had terrible anxiety. So I decided to show her how to use the fourfold path, physical well-being, mental well-being, social and spiritual well-being, as ways of getting more biologically intelligent and to feel better. She didn't feel safe walking, but that changed when I got her to walk through gardens and parks. There she would get sunlight, which is a drug in itself. It changes mood, it changes immunity. If you walk every morning, it can cut your number of colds in half, but walking also grows new brain cells in memory areas while you sleep. Biological intelligence is so efficient, you grow new brain cells even in your sleep because everything you do teaches you. Then I taught her about mental well-being, how to train the brain to think relentlessly of solutions instead of problems. The environment is always changing, and biological intelligence makes us change and adapt with it. Then we went on to social well-being, how just being with people would not only help her mood, but could also cut her risk of heart attack, stroke, even cancer. Last, I asked her to connect with something greater than herself because spirit, purpose, meaning really make life better. She found time in nature, time with animals, being connected to something bigger than herself really helped her mood. After that, she began to feel energetic, got undepressed, lost weight, and started laughing. Before all this, she hadn't thought much about biological intelligence because it was always invisible to her. Now she does. For what you do is what you become. Everything you do teaches you. Recognize that your body is biologically intelligent and it becomes more intelligent. One of the great advantages of intelligently using biological intelligence.